it took a while, but it is officially announced. The next patch will contain a loot filter. This is really going to change the game a lot and I'm glad we're getting this as it will allow me to jump back into the game. Hey everyone this is Dieworm and today let's talk about what we know about this new loot filter and how it's going to work. Enjoying last depot content? Consider subscribing. Leaving a like is super helpful too for the YouTube algorithm. The last couple of months the devs have already teased and acknowledged that a loot filter was in the works. With Last Epoch moving more towards an end game focused game, the lack of a loot filter became more and more noticeable and I'm glad the devs have seen this as well. By implementing this a lot sooner than expected as this was originally planned for phase 4, 11th hour games once again shows they are receptible to feedback and care about what the community thinks even if it messes with their original plans. That is great to see. Let's take a look at some of the features with the side note that a much more detailed post will be published a lot closer to the release. The loot filter is still in the design phase, Sarno mentions, but some details are shared. The loot filter is going to be an in-game loot filter where you can define and choose rules. Each rule shows or hides certain items depending on the rule. Rules are also ordered and the order or load order of the rules determines which items you see. If you for example hide all tier 1 affixes and show all exalted items in that order and an exalted item with a tier 1 affix drops it will not show up. If you place the rule showing exalted items before rules that hide stuff, they do show up. Rule order takes me back to the old days of modding Skyrim, which is how this channel started. A load order allows for a lot of freedom, but it can also mess things up a lot. Countless times my Skyrim game would not start because of a faulty load order. This loot filter will be similar in that sense. All these rules and their order can help you create a very specific loot filter, but make one mistake and you might miss out on a ton of loot because you screwed up the order. The great thing about a loot filter with specific rules is that it allows both newer players and veterans to use it. Newer players will just set a few very generic basic rules. And because so much bad loot drops, 5 generic loot rules are going to be a huge quality of life increase. As time progresses, these newer players will then turn into more veteran loot filter users as they will start to tweak their filters the more loot they see that they are not interested in. It should be a very organic process with intuitive controls. For those not wanting to manually tweak loot filters, there is going to be an import and export functionality. This is actually huge. It allows me, for example, to create an entire build guide, a gear overview on Tank Labs and a loot filter to go along with the whole thing, which you can then import. That is going to be super convenient for a lot of people and I can't wait to try this out and make build guides again. There are a few more quality of life features when tweaking the loot filter. Duplicating loot filters for example, so you can create multiple copies or filters with more or less strictness depending on which gear you have already found. I can imagine making 3 or 4 versions of a loot filter, increasing the strictness per filter to help people gradually progress through the leveling and gearing process. You will be able to add a brief description to your filters as well which then shows up in the menus. This seems small but it can be very very helpful when explaining people how and when to use a loot filter, for example. Last but not least, you can expect a bunch of color coding and visual effects to help you scroll through the loot rules quickly and efficiently. Usually when Last Epoch implements features that are established features in other action RPGs already, they are not slacking around. The search functionality, the game guide, the stash storage, all of these are examples of Last Epoch going above and beyond. The loot filter from what we're gathering right now is no exception either. I'm pretty sure it will not be as elaborate as the loot filter in Path of Exile as those are community driven and these are developed. But the level of granularity we're getting from these filters is definitely going to be sufficient for this stage of the game. I'm really happy we're getting this in probably like one month when the new patch drops. I think it's already looking super good and EHG once again seems to deliver, maybe even over deliver on what the community wants. I hope you enjoyed the video ladies and gents. Thanks so much for watching and making it to the end. See you soon. Bye bye.